So I don't think I introduced this one yet, but this is a three gauge firework, I think. Um, you can clearly see it's got warning labels on it saying it's flammable and all that. You shouldn't mess around with this near a fire. So also it's supposed to be launched through a tube. We don't have a tube. All the tubes have been thrown away, but we have this one left over from like last year's 4th of July. I'm gonna set it out there towards the 75 yard range. So it's a pretty distance away. There's not a lot of grass, not a lot of woodage. So we're gonna set this out there, shoot a 22 at, see if we can get it to blow up. Um, yeah, don't try this at home. Video disclaimer, don't, don't, don't try this at home. This is very unsafe to do. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, we got planes and everything flying overhead. Uh, really? Anyway, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Nord Minus. Uh, we're, we got a few new targets out on the range today. We got some crosses with little targets on the sides. We got a new flipper target with four on the bottom, one on top. And then, of course, our usual still going targets. Uh, currently at our position, um, I can see only the 50 yard targets and we're standing about halfway between them. So give or take 20, 30 yards. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and load ourselves up with with our Taurus. I got not Taurus. I'm sorry. This is a Mossberg MC1, not a Taurus. Holds uh, seven in the magazine, one in the chamber, so eight total. But we're only gonna use the seven. I'm loaded up with 119 grain uh, full metal jackets. So we're gonna load up on this uh, steel gong target right quick. See how many rounds we can sink into it. I got seven in the magazine. All right, we got seven rounds in one in the chamber. Let's see if I can sink any into this uh, steel gong target. We're standing about 30 yards away, so I'm not expecting much from irons. Hmm. I think we may have hit one. I could be wrong. I don't think I hit any. <laughs> Comment down below if I hit anything. I'm disturbing all kinds of nature. Gotta love it. All right, so next up, we're gonna be shooting a Savage 22 long rifle. I got some 56 grain uh, hard cast for it. Got a very nice, uh, what's this? Barska scope on it. We're gonna go ahead and shoot this uh, big gong target. I'm also gonna try and hit the flippers. Um, Again, Savage Long Long Rifle. Let's do this. Wait. Got two for two. Sweet. We hit both our uh, cross targets and I think we sunk like three into the gong. I'm gonna try that again, only this time I'm gonna aim solely for the flippers. I'm like, only able to shoot 10 because of the capacity of the magazine, but I think we can hit the flippers. I really do. Um, we're gonna go ahead and sink some rounds into the flipper targets, the new ones, the four on the bottom, one on the top right. We're gonna see if uh, I can go ahead and hit those or not. We hit two. Oh, we hit three and it fell. Ah, uh, so we hit four, right? But on that third one, we hit it and the other two came back down along with the third one. So, uh, 
you know what, I'm gonna count that. Like that, that was a pretty good round of just trying to get those to operate. I may have been aiming a little high. We'll see that here in a minute though. Determine whether or not uh, it was just my aim that messed it up. Next up, we're gonna load this up again. Only this time I'm gonna sink five rounds into the gong. And I wanna try and shoot this firework and see if I can get it to go off with a 22. So we're loaded up with 10 more rounds. We're gonna shoot uh, a few of them into the gong and my bad aim, I'm gonna save a few for that firework that's out there. Um, the slow motion angle has changed so this next pop-up is gonna look a little different. It's just, I set it further back <laughs> is all. So we're gonna go ahead and see what I can do to this gong and this firework. Hopefully I can get them. <sighs> There's my three into the gong. Now I gotta find this firework. There you are. Found it. Oh, I shot it. It fell. Let's see if I can get it again. Huh. I hit it. I don't know where the heck it went though. Those were my last two rounds. Comment down below, what do you think is happening inside that firework right now? Because I hit it twice, I know of it. The first one knocked it down and then the second one sent it somewhere. So I'm gonna look around for it, see if I can find it. And uh, yeah, it didn't go off. So clearly there's not a lot of energy or velocity going into it, but that bullet's hot going through the air so you I, th I think the heat would set it off but I guess I'm wrong uh, yeah next up 300 blackout I'm gonna find that firework first and let you guys see what's up uh, yeah comment down below what do you think happened did I just knock it over with the dirt that flung up or did I actually hit it and it just not go off Okay, so I found the firework, and as you can see, we uh, we did in fact hit it one time. I think it just grazed past it, though. No, no, we hit it twice. Look at that. So the first time, I assume that one right there is what knocked it over, and then the second, maybe third time, I guess it just grazed past it. We're going to set it over here for now. That is uh, the powder from it. We're going to shoot this one more time. Uh, who am I kidding? Maybe two more times. We'll probably shoot it two more times with a uh, 300 blackout, and we're going to see if we can get it to ignite. If that fails, I have one more round I'd like to shoot at it before I call it quits for today. Um, yeah, what do you, comment down below. What do you think? 22 didn't ignite it. A 30 caliber round should. It's bigger, it's more powder, more velocity. Still traveling under the speed of sound, though, so... At least at the point of impact is traveling fast or slower than the speed of sound. So we'll, we'll see what's up. Quick after the, finding the firework, just wanted to show you guys the damage we were doing. So you can't really see any of it <laughs> on this one because of how much damage has already been done to the big joker. But this one you can see. So we hit this one one time with a 22 and there is a dent on the back of that. There's also a dent on the back of that one. And we have, in fact, hit this one, I think, twice now. Oddly enough, though, there's no dent on this one. Weird. Comment down below what you guys think. Like, I thought this was capable of handling 22, but I guess I was wrong. We didn't shoot it with the 9mm. We hit it all with the 22, so... I'm not going to shoot that anymore with 300 blackout, but yeah, that's weird. It's strange. I don't understand what the heck is happening there. Um, we hit this one one time with the 22. As you see, we nailed it pretty good off to the side. And then we came over here and did the same thing with this one. Only we got close to the bullseye, so yay. That's good. All right, back to the video. So next up, we have 300 Blackout. This is my 
AR-15 chambered in 300 blackout. We're not going to use the binary mode on it. We, I know y'all can see that. Um, we're just going to use semi-automatic for now. We're going to sink a couple rounds into the target. Um, we're currently loaded up with 150 grain uh, jacketed soft points from Federal. Um, yeah. We're also going to take a couple shots at the fireworks, see if we can get it to ignite with these rounds. If at all, we cannot ignite that firework with this round. I've got one more caliber I want to try before uh, we end the video, so stay tuned. What do you think? Comment down below. Pretty sure I said this already. May Comment down below. What do you think is going to happen to that firework when we shoot it with this thing? Okay, so for all intents and purposes, we're going to use the same camera angle we did before with the whole it scooted back, the targets are a little smaller, and we get the firework in frame. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. I'm loaded up with nine. I think in three in the gong, and then we'll attempt to run the rest into that firework. I'm working with flip up iron sights, so let's see what we can do. Oh, this is so strange. Can't see my iron, my flips. What's going on here? There we go. Hit that one. Okay, I don't know what I'm aiming for. I see it now. That did nothing. That also did nothing. I'm kicking up a lot of smoke though. That did nothing. Let's see if we can hit it one more time. We're gonna sink the whatever we have left into the gong. Woo! All right, and we are completely out. Comment down below, what do you think it happened to that uh, firework? Because from my point of view, we did not ignite it. It did not explode. So, a little sketched out by that, but comment down below. We are definitely moving to that next caliber because I don't think it. Uh, I don't think it's gonna do much. Okay, so as you can see, we did in fact hit the firework again. This time we hit it up high. Um, we didn't really hit it anywhere else, as you can see. So this time we have it set back up. We're gonna bring out another caliber and attempt to shoot this same firework again. Hopefully, it actually ignites. Tis the goal. So. Wish me luck. Comment down below again. Do you think it'll ignite with a higher velocity round? Let's find out. That gum firework don't want to work. So I'm going to bring the big guns out. So as you can see, we're stepping it up a notch. Firework don't want to go off. That's okay. That's okay. We'll just up the ante. So I am brought out my big boy. 50 BMG from Barrett. If it don't go off this time, I don't know what will. So, slow mo is going to act a little differently this time. Instead of 8x, the usual, instead it'll play back as 4x. So, it'll be a little quicker than typical. Um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see what I can do to this firework. I'm going to light two rounds into the cardboard at the 75 yard. You'll see the little cross and the little Thing. I'm going to try and zoom in as much as I can on the video. Um, I'm going to sink one into that to see where it's shooting and then adjust from that. After that, I'm going to aim at that firework, see if we can get it to ignite with this. Oh, I had it the other way. Whoops. All right. Firing. Woo! All right. Perfect. <laughs> I flung stuff back at me. <laughs> All right. We have ignited the uh, lovely, what's it called? There you are. We hit the target right where I wanted to. Looks like I'm gonna have to aim a little low into the right in order to get the 
hit that I'm looking for. So we're gonna go down to here. We're gonna hit that right there. Okay, so comment down below what you think is gonna happen. And firing. <laughs> Woo! That did not do much. Am I hearing anything right now? No, I am not. Must mean all is good. Alright, we're going to try that one more time. Only this time I'm going to aim dead center at it. And firing. We missed all of the times. Whew. That was fun. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment down below. What do you think you want to see me shoot next? Uh, clearly, fireworks, old fireworks, don't ignite very well, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, yeah. I enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. So as you can see, the one still stands. <laughs>